Don't go anywhere. But as we've been excited about and telling you about it all morning, joined by uh, a bit of a comedy legend himself, uh, Mr. Josh Blue. Uh, welcome back, Josh. What's up, everybody? It's been a hot minute since you were in the studio. It I want to say it's like, I feel like the last time you were here was like eight years ago or really? something. Really? It was, it, we had you in the regular rotation. I, you know, everybody's rotation got screwed up because of COVID. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. We, we kind of knew. Some guys when we would see everybody right. when they were coming through. And then COVID threw everybody off and then changed a lot of people like, oh, here's the kind of shows I'm doing. or then And then some people went decided to go, well, I'm only going to do theaters. And then some people who were only doing theaters were like, I want to go back and do clubs for a little bit. Right. It's been kind of fun watching everybody come back through here again and, and what have you. But yeah, I thought radio, radio was dead after COVID, man. I mean, uh, it, is, it is. It yeah. is. This isn't going. We're not broadcasting oh, yeah, right now. We're just yeah, hanging out in here. practice show. Yeah, I wonder why we're in this garage. Right? Yeah, <laughs> but that's how we work it now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <that's fine. laughs> Nobody. Good to see hey, you guys. It's, it's a <laughs> podcast now, it's but like it, yeah, it's, uh, I got to do a commercial for stamps.com right now so it's, yeah. a, it's a podcast hot dogs and <laughs> yeah well we decided uh that friday should be start becoming fr- hot dog friday and i'm really proud of you because i said well would you like a breakfast hot dog and you didn't even bat an eye there was no pause you go yeah i mean you know uh, i like to make the healthy choices <laughs> good good <laughs> proud of you do, yeah. quality you. Uh, you don't need to clap for me guys thank okay. you it's really, <laughs> it's really kind yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everybody it's really kind <laughs> i'm just keeping it going that way josh is at cap city did you do did you do a show last night i did yeah it's that you and, and you haven't been in that because that whole room is brand that, new yeah uh it's a beautiful room awesome i i mean my thing is, I always like those dingy old clubs. Uh, yeah, that's my, I know. I that's know. my jam, and it's sad to see them all going right, across yeah. the nation. There's very few left that, you know, when you walk in somewhere, like, I bet Richard Pryor peed right on that <laughs> yeah, wall. Yeah. Uh, so I'm doing my best to, to soil the new club. Okay, good, yeah. good. Thank yeah, you. this one has it. a balcony. That's yeah. how class. You notice that? Yeah, There's a balcony. balcony. Yeah. Yeah, the old cap. Uh, warts and all we loved. It had yeah. uh, filthy carpet. Yeah. They smell the constant smell of sulfur and dew would occasionally mm-hmm. just waft through the room because there was a plumbing issue. Like a, a pipe had collapsed underneath the building at some point, and nobody, nobody in the comedy club business has pipe fixing money. <laughs> no. Yeah, they're they, they're still looking for will the check to the act clear this week kind of money, and it was. Uh, but you make a good point, which some of those dirty, dirty. Clubs are really kind of romantic and fun. Yeah. There's one in uh, Atlanta, the Punchline. You remember that one? Sure. That was one of those ones where you walk in there and you kind of get chills because you're like, some bad stuff happened. Oh, yeah. There. Yeah. Like, like how many? And they, the, the, I think the clubs that, man, that were open during the heyday of you're getting paid in cocaine. Yeah. Those clubs that managed to stay open, the old stop in Houston was that way. Mm. Even though it wasn't the original stop, it still had the original stop feeling yep um uh sometimes i guess you could give a little <laughs> bit of that nod to like go bananas i went and to then, zany's in chicago a couple years yep. ago to see uh leanne morgan to surprise her and apparently um being quiet during the show is uh, optional optional it's optional there it was just non-stop heckling and yelling and and which is always party. pleasant which I don't mind a little. No, I, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I think if you came up from a long time, so you've seen it all because you came up to the ranks. Uh, you were touring. You won. You won, right? I'm last, trying to remember. Last comic standing. Yeah. In 06. Has it been that wow. long? Can you believe that? And uh, but then you, so you also were doing theaters and been big stuff like that. Do you like? There's some really nice stuff about the theaters. Yeah. But you're a Still club comic, don't you think? I am definitely a club comic. I enjoy the, like you said, the dinginess and the. Uh, it's more intimate, obviously. Uh, I like that. And with a the theater, you know, like a club, you get one heckler. With a the theater, you get nine hecklers. You know, uh, and they're having to yell because you can't really. hear. I don't think right. they understand that the acoustics at a theater are designed to go outward, right. not back inward. Right, right. And exactly. uh, and so it, it's not even good heckling because you're like I'm. Maybe right. you're saying something funny or, or cringy, but I I can't tell because right. there's just nothing coming from you right exactly. now. Exactly. No, I'm definitely a club comic, and thanks for recognizing that. Yeah, well, no, I feel like you... <laughs> I, I mean, it's also fun for me, too, because there's a lot of club comics. And then, you know... I mean, I know you picked up literally millions of fans from the television show. Yep. 
Um, and there's that funny thing. I don't want to go back. I mean, I know that's a long time ago. We'll just br- br- briefly touch on it. But you're also a little more devilish and a little more... You're less clean than maybe NBC right. makes you appear. Well, because uh, two years ago I was on America's Got Talent. Yeah. And I got third place on that, which, again, is just another uh, blast to the career. I mean, things are awesome, but, you know... America's Got Talent is like a show for kids. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Then you show up to my show, and they're Are not they horrified? ready. They're not ready. They're not ready for it. <laughs> it's awesome. Ma- Mommy, the bad man hurt me. Yeah, made exactly. me cry. Exactly. <laughs> when you when you're on the road now and running clubs and stuff again, like what do you do during your what do you do your daytime? Uh, just a lot of crying. Okay, oh. how's that going? Oh. Okay. <laughs> crying. Uh, in the shower or uh, in the bed? Anywhere, anywhere, really. I like to walk around and cry. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, I'm, I'm a wanderer, man. I just like to walk around and check stuff out. And, you know, I look homeless, so I fit in here. Absolutely. <laughs> well, be careful. There's yeah. a, there's an element in town that will try to put you in jail immediately for looking that way. But Especially in uh, the domain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't take kindly to homeless up in the domain. Yeah. Uh, end up in New York or something. Yeah. yeah. Bust off. Yeah. Yeah. Martha's Vineyard. Exactly. <laughs> or Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> yeah, they put bus people there, too. <laughs> I forgot that we were just busting people. Right. Wherever, wherever they can go. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so the show went la- well last night. New club. Yeah. I mean, I bombed, but it was fun. No, I'm just kidding. It was good. <laughs> Do you, when's the last time that you bombed? I don't know that I've ever bombed, bombed. I mean, the one sticks out is uh, probably 17 years ago. It was a 70-year-old woman's birthday party. And it, <laughs> was, it was horrible. Was it in a club, or did you get no, hired a private like, gig to like, go yeah, to a house? It was like in the Four Seasons in their ballroom. It was <laughs> oh, like, my gosh. She was like a cattle rancher woman, and she was very wealthy. And um, Just a dead crowd? I mean, they almost, were all almost, yeah, yeah, they were on the doorstep. I'm sure they're all I'm sure they're all dead now, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I mean, the, it was brutal. I mean, the only person that laughed was her gay hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> and in a room full of four hundred. That's not. Wow. A, but that's a pretty good record then to have that few. Bombings. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, now that we're talking about it, I'll probably just eat. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I've just always had a way of like figuring it out. Like, I can have a couple bad moments in the show, but I have savers and I have jokes that I know will work um, for the most part. You don't get, do you, you've been doing it for so long too, as well. Do, do you still ever have the conversations in your head when you're on stage and you're like, oof, this crowd? This crowd, oh, I yeah. wish they'd go F themselves. For sure. Because there the, is a thing where you get a little bit on sometimes on autopilot and you can have that own kind of conversation going on in your head. Well, what I've come to find too is that, like, y- you think it's not going as good as you know it can. And right. And then after the show, they're like, this was the best show I've ever been to. I'm like, well, why weren't you laughing then? Like, <laughs> well, <laughs> is, that, is that an issue that comics have too? You're comparing, you're always comparing yourself to your best show and right. wanting to do better than that one. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm never satisfied. Let's just say that. Like, Doesn't that actually make you the better comic though? I, I think it does. It's kind of annoying to be it, but, you know. But I think that those are the people who always keep striving you know from the club, there was always a guy who everybody knew wasn't that good. And every time he came back from a string of one-nighters or whatever, he's like, I oh, dude, I killed it. it. Oh, that was so, <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah, Unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, I've been on those shows with people. I'm like, well, what show were you talking about? Because I did not see that. <laughs> I think we, we got a lot be, of that here in Austin now. Okay. Oh, I think maybe, there's nothing but killers now. Yeah, maybe sure. everybody has nothing their own. Killers. Yeah, their coping, their own co- weird coping yeah. me- methods or whatever. <laughs> like, what are you comparing this to? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do well at all. It, yeah, but do you think that you're? Like, do you feel pressure to be like a nice dude, especially even to other comics? No, I'm notoriously kind of a dick. Are you uh-huh. like, but like in a nice way? Like, I was gonna say because like, you don't have that reputation of see, being that's a dick. The thing is, I like I, I have this way of like saying it, and you laugh, <laughs> so, but it's still like, wait, did Josh Blue just? <laughs> did he mean that? Did he say that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just I love busting balls. Well, yeah, thing, that's but know? isn't that isn't that the number? Isn't that the most enjoyable part of the job? Yeah, it is, and that's how you know if somebody likes you, and that's how you know if 
if you can bust my chops, uh, that means you like me, right? You know, right? I, I feel like that, and I mean, just to openers, I love. To, I'm like, hey man, this week you did really good, and if you keep working real hard, maybe one day you can open for another headliner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just keep it going. Yeah. I also like to ask, uh, it's always fun to ask other comics right when they got off stage, uh, hey, when are you going up, man? Oh, yeah, yeah. When that, are you going up? Which I think is always school. a good way, especially when you school. see somebody really proud of themselves, and you're yeah. like, oh, that guy felt really yeah. good about that one. They felt... I really want to see you tonight. When are you going out? I just went up. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I missed it. I hope it was good, though. I was, yeah. It was good. It's just that this beer seemed way more appealing than walking into the showroom and checking out whatever was happening. <laughs> exactly. I am sure you did great. <laughs> I'll never watch your stuff, but I'm sure it was good. You say 17 years ago was this terrible. How long have you been doing stand-up now? Uh, over 20. So probably I started in college. And Where'd you originally start? I was at uh, Evergreen State College in Olympia, Washington. I okay. I just did, like, open mic nights. And yeah. Uh, that was the first time I picked up a mic, and then I think my first paid gig, I was like 22, maybe. And then you split, because you went down to California. You went to L.A. pretty soon, didn't you? No, I've always lived in Denver. My Have you? Oh, Denver. Career, yeah, wow. my whole career. I've, I've Holy ass. I had you. I, yeah. For some reason, no, I had you. I never did the uh, L.A. scene. I mean, I don't have much, uh, much clout in L.A. just because I never play there, but... Everywhere else in the country. <laughs> well, you probably fit in a lot better in Denver anyway. Yeah. The um, hair, the attitude. The weed, all mm. that. Yeah. All that works. Yeah. Now you've got Chewy's attention. Che mm. Chewy's paying attention. I do smoke, but I'm a, I'm a daily smoker. I really need to stop. No, you don't. No? no? No. Not he at does. all? He does. No, no he doesn't. He does. Are no, you a does. daily, a weekly, end of the uh, nighter? A couple of times an um, hour. Hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, he, he just put down a breakfast dog, of course. That's I'm true. A, I, don't, yeah. I don't know how people are eating hot dogs in the morning without weed. I'm yeah. eating hot dogs like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo over <laughs> here, man. <laughs> it's, everything's kind of legal in Denver now, huh? Yeah, yeah. They've uh, decriminalized mushrooms now, That's too. That's wild. It's cool, man. Have you part partaken? Uh, what do you think I'm on now? I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the dog. Do you I, just do you just walk into the dispensary and you're like, I want to get much? I mean, it's an can't. odd concept. So Different. it's decriminalized. So it, the you can't like sell them legally. Okay. It's not manufactured. It's not like, yeah. But but everybody is now doing it, like growing in their closets and stuff. Hey, look in here, and they're like, oh. <laughs> you need to clean your closet, man. You got <laughs> mushrooms all over. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then the weed thing is, I mean, we're, you know, we're definitely one of the leaders. You know, we, us in Oregon were the first ones to go full mm -hmm. legal, and it was like Wild West. Yeah. They called it the Green Rush. <laughs> A lot of people do. The, the, the Green Rush. Have you gotten? Have you have you gotten your own label yet? You I do. I have my own uh, edibles. It's called Josh Blue's Dream, and it's made no. with Blue Dream, and it's the first strain specific edible. And uh, it's through a company called Mountain High Suckers, and uh, I'm in like 50 stores in Colorado. Yeah. Oh, there there we go. I like the packaging Damn. too. And I'm in uh, over 100 stores in Missouri, so it's a couple states and we're growing. It's pretty cool. Damn. Hey, that's got to be the best I want merch. That. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I gotta say, it's, so, it's very good merch. Yeah, it's way I, better in the days of just yeah, selling a t shirt. Koozies sticker. and stickers over yeah, here. T shirts, yeah, we got it all. And it's funny, you know, I never thought there'd be legal weed yeah. in general, let alone have my face on yes, it. Yes, that's yeah. crazy. Well, <laughs> well, it's it? funny because a lot of manufacturers of this stuff, they, they get in trouble because. Because it looks like they're marketing to children. Not so right. much with yours. Right. I don't yeah. think any kid is going to. Very right. adult. Think yeah, yeah. That that's no, candy. No, you're like, ugh. <laughs> that's red poison. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a funnier concept to be able to say, I've made it. Because my face yeah. is on weed. It's on weed. Because yeah. that was a thing that as uh, kids you were probably told to stay away from. And now you get to go, right. hey, everybody, look at me. I've made it. I am my own weed. And it's funny, too, because I, you know, I, I get, like, hundreds of suckers from the manufacturer, and they're just at my house. I'm like, okay, kids, these candies. Good trick-or-treat spot. Candies, yeah, 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 <laughs> Great sure. trick-or-treat spot. Yeah. It's just hard telling my kids not to eat candy. You know? Right. <laughs> this is bad for you? <laughs> not this one. Wow. Uh, so do you have to, like, do you have to lock them up, put them up no, top somewhere? No, my kids... 
They're old. They're now 15. Oh, they are? Are they that old? 15 and 13, bro. Damn. I know. It's insane. Now, what are the properties Damn. of the Blue Dream strain? I mean, what do we, as a, I'm not a, uh, it's a uh, Bob's never been high. Well, uh. Don't, don't I, judge him. He's, he's, he, is it going to wig me out? Is it going to, okay. Is oh, it going to chill me is down? Gonna is it going to cool me out? He's not a cop, Josh. I swear. He's not a cop. It's definitely going to wig you out. Wig you out. Wig you out, bro. You're going to. Oh, come on. God, be Ralphie. Ralphie, Ralphie back in the day gave him a joint. Yeah, Ralphie oh, May. Which he rolled up into Stinkiest a. Stinkiest joint I've ever. Rest in peace. But he yeah. put it, he, he rolled it in foil. Right. And then in plastic. And then he put it in his safe in his house, worried that cops would come to his house and smell it. And I was like, well, first of all, <laughs> why are cops just randomly showing up to your house? Yeah, because, I have, uh, because I had pot. What else are you doing, man? I don't, I don't Bob's <laughs> just a good kid. He's yeah. a good kid. It makes him nervous. Did you ever, you never smoked it? Or? A little bit. I mean, you know, I went man, to college. Don't mess with anything Ralph. He gives you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, dude. It was stanky. One time he gave me the, you remember those, like, Dissolving strips, yeah, stuff. yeah, like Listerine. Yeah. yeah, but it was like weed, and he goes, yeah. "You might want to eat half of this." <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I ate the whole thing, and it was at the um, uh, Vegas Comedy Festival, and it was the first time I met David Tell, and I was like. <laughs> and Dave was like, "It's nice to meet you, Josh." And then uh, I said that, and he just kind of looked at me like. Oh, he's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. I need an idol, and I'm so high. I can't even <laughs> form words. I should have realized that, you know, Ralphie was eight times bigger than me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. He can eat him like a horse, man. Yeah, no, I would frequently see that backstage where Ralphie. He would have like four people that had shown up or something, and they were always just looked like they were dead. Yeah. And he was like, oh, these are friends of mine from the city, and they always appeared to be <laughs> dead. And it was always the same thing. He had those Chiba Chews or whatever that he was passing yeah, yeah, out, yeah. and he would always just kill. There was a trail of of dead people behind him everywhere he went. <laughs> yeah, rappers and dead people. Man. Yeah. <laughs> those empty candy rappers. And, and, I mean, uh, he came to one of my shows one time, uh, and I was on stage when he got there, and I came up, and he was just, like, smoking my weed, and he was just like... <laughs> I hope you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ruffy, of course. <laughs> I weed your weed, bud. Whatever. Just don't it's, eat me. As far as smoker communities, that didn't like cigarette people will lend you a cigarette yeah, no yeah. matter what yeah, the yeah. time. Weed? Yeah. I don't know. I might. This uh, might be. You a, know, for Big Ralph, you give him whatever you want. I think there's yeah. also oh, Ralph, like yeah. a road Take code it. too, because you would always you would go into a condo at the cheap clubs when you're on and you would start overturning there was always a place where comics would get their weed they didn't want to drive with it to the next town whatever and there were you knew where the hidey oh, hole was in these certain yeah. condos yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was just sort of like because also heavy handshakes at a club someone would be like dude i really liked you they'd hand you some weed and yeah. you're like well i'm not gonna drive or i gotta get on a flight right. things were different and you would hide it and everybody just kind of knew where the hidey right. hidey spots were yeah. or you would look at who was there the week before mm -hmm. and then you would reach out to them and be like hey man where'd you keep where'd you hide where'd you where'd you hide some weed i know you did well, the funny thing about Ralphie smoking that weed that time was, uh, it was he lived there, so he, <laughs> like, dude, I, yeah, I, I smuggled this in from my thing. You could have brought your own from your, from your house. That's like three blocks away from. He the probably brought his own, yeah, but finished smoked it, it finished it on the way yeah, because yeah. Ralphie did have an intake. Uh, uh, he just liked the Denver weed better, maybe. Maybe yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. Uh, that's what it was. What all? What are you working on that's coming up for people? So I just uh, recorded my fifth hour special. Oh wow! Uh, and that's in the can. It's final edits. Hopefully. Where where did you record that one? Uh, in Denver at the Comedy Works. Oh. That's good. It's yeah. one of the best clubs in the country. Yeah, my home club. So that's cool. Uh, yeah. So hopefully that'll be out somewhere. Do they like legit. when you have people? Do they tell you, oh, now's a good time to release this? Or are they just like, oh, the editors are super high, it's going to take a while? What <laughs> dictates when it's coming out? Uh, well, the thing I hate about specials is uh, after I record it, then I have to edit it and watch it. And right. I'm like nothing worse than watching it's myself. Terrible. Oh. terrible. Like, you know, you see yourself, you're like, I look like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I sound like? Oh, God. 
how have I made it this far in my career, <laughs> you know? Um, so that's, I mean, we had to watch it like six times over. Ugh. And it's like, ugh, kill me, please. Uh, <laughs> you have to bring in third parties on stuff like that, yeah. though, because you, uh, otherwise you're going to despot me. Right. Y you can't do it on your own. And it doesn't, it's not funny. I mean, obviously, right. you know your joke, so it's like, okay, I know where this is going. Yeah, it's no surprise. <laughs> yeah. Right. So uh, after the third time, you're like, is this even good, even good or <laughs> yeah. funny or anything? And, you know, then other people watch it and they laugh. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Thank God. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, do you have a planned date? Do you know? Is it going to no. be like springtime or before the end of the year? Uh, I'm hoping within the, within the year. Okay. So, I mean, we're we're just doing credits on it now and all that, so we're gonna shop it uh, soon. My other specials are on Amazon Prime, so I got four oh. on there now. Uh, but we're gonna shop this one around, see if we can get it to Netflix or HBO or something. Awesome, that'd be Beautiful. fantastic. When you when you land it and figure out what's happening, you gotta call us back uh, and let us know. Yeah, be awesome. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we're hanging a bit with uh, with Josh Blue. Cap City Comedy Club. dot com is the best way to to, uh, to grab your.